Hey GED students, let's get a little trickier with our question of the day. Let's take a look. It says match each sentence below to the appropriate algebraic equation. Okay, so we're looking at translation again. We've got a sentence. There are sentences in English and we are matching them to equations, basically sentences in the language of algebra. And an equation is one kind of sentence um, that we can write in algebra. So first one's pretty simple. Let's start with that one. A says double a number x. Double a number x. I don't just want one x. I want double x. One way to say that is to say two times x. So double a number x. That was easy. What was that part of the statement? Next part of the statement says minus. Yay, I know the symbol for minus. So minus one. And then it says is is in algebra, if I say one thing is another, um, and that's the only relationship I'm talking about, this is that, then I am just saying that those two things are equal or they're equivalent, and so you can use an equal sign. So equals 13. So there we go, we can see that A matches with one. Uh, 2x minus one is equal to 13. So let's go ahead and erase all my messiness and just put a one up there. Okay, let's look at the next, next example. You guys, if you hear weird noises in the background, my dog is like doing some kind of flippy thing all over the floor. Okay, it's not me. <laughs> okay, let's look at the next example. B, twice the difference. Oh, well, twice the difference. Look at that. Once again, we have the idea of twice. It's like double. It's definitely two times. Oh, I need a different color than blue. I think blue is a little hard to read off to the side here. Let's try purple. So yeah, twice does mean two times. So that's nice. But notice that I want to, um, oh, maybe I shouldn't use an X. Maybe I'll confuse people if I use an X. How about just two times? Okay. So twice the difference. Now this is a super important vocab word for the math test. Hopefully, um, if you've been learning with me long, you remember way back in the basic operations lesson where we learned that a difference means a subtraction problem or its answer, a subtraction problem or its answer. So if I wanna do twice the difference, I'm trying to do two times an entire problem, an entire expression. And so it's gonna be super duper important here to open up parentheses so I can put a subtraction inside of it. So twice the difference, and I'm gonna put the difference in here. So the difference of what? Well, let's keep reading. It says the difference between a number x and one. So I'm going to make a subtraction expression with x and one. And if you saw this on the GED, you might see it written like that, or you might actually see it in absolute value bars. Uh, just to make sure that the answer is positive, that says the same thing. Two times the difference of x and one. I'm, I'm not... Um, really dealing with that right now. Um, absolute value bars, just make sure that your difference will be positive like it's supposed to be. But right now, let's just focus on the fact that we need to do two times that entire grouping, so we have to be grouped, and that difference means subtraction. So two times the difference of x and 1 is, again, we see that is, meaning equals, and then 13. And so even though A and B look very similar, they would be written different. Um, B matches with three. So let's erase this guy, and let's get a three in there. Oof, hard to read, right above. Okay, now next one. One minus twice X is 13. Now this one seems simple, one, minus twice x is 13, and indeed it is. One minus twice x is 13, nice. That one's two. One minus two x is 13. So you might be thinking, well, we used up one, we used up two, we used up three. Why is she still going? Dear Lord, will this woman never stop? Yeah, sorry, y'all. Um, the most common complaint on the internet is that I overcomplicate things, but <laughs> sadly, <laughs> there's more than one way.
<laughs> to write a lot of things in algebra. So I'm not trying to overcomplicate things. I just want to make sure that you're prepared for whatever the GED throws at you. <laughs> so let's look at D. D says two times. Okay, so there I am multiplying by two again. So two times. And then notice what I'm timesing by. It doesn't say a number here. It says two times the quantity of, the quantity of x minus 1. Two times the quantity of x minus 1. Again, that language, the quantity of, signals to me that I'm talking a grouping. So if you want to do that, two times the quantity of x minus 1, just like with the difference, you had better start a grouping. So there is 2 times the quantity of x minus 1, and that, of course, it says is, is 13. And so even though d was phrased a little differently, it also matches with 3. All right, and now let's look at E. Ooh, E looks scary. It says 1 less than double X is 13. Now, careful. A lot of students look right at 2, and they're so tempted. They say, Kate, look at this. 1 less than X, less than uh, double X is 13. Looks good to me. But if you're that student, you're wrong. By the way, that's not a correct answer. You don't understand something about less than. So less than, if you say, let me circle the whole thing instead of just the less than. That might make it clearer. If you see, say one less than, you are not saying one subtract something. You are actually saying subtract one. One less than means to take away one. And you might say, well, what am I supposed to take one away from? Whatever follows that. So one less than double X. You're supposed to subtract that one from the double X. That says one less than double X. Make a note to yourself because everybody forgets that the term less than, I call it an order switcher. It kind of just switches the order around. I wanted to highlight it and instead I crossed out in yellow. Very cute. Okay, so one less than double X and then I can still say is, is 13. And let, let us get out that highlighter. Let us not be lazy, Kate. Uh, maybe that one? That looks good and just less than. Put that in your notes. Watch out for that one, you guys. I cannot even tell you enough times that um, less than is an order switcher, and it really, really throws students. So less than means so if it says like 5 less than, it means subtract 5. If it says 8 less than, it means subtract 8. If it says 27 less than, it means subtract 27. You know, if it says x less than, you can subtract x, okay? So whatever the number is less than, you subtract that number. That, that, that color is so horrible to read. <laughs> You guys, I'm having technical difficulties this video. Can I, you guys are all going to just uh, give me grace because, you you know, we all have our struggles. Some people struggle with algebra and some people struggle with technology. <laughs> I'm the technology variety. Anyway, after all that talking, E then matches, of course, with number one, not number two. Oh, watch out. Don't get fooled. All right, so A matches with 1, B matches with 3, C is 2, D is 3, and E is 1, surprisingly. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them.